Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. Today I'm so excited. I was on Amazon. It's quarantine time, so what else is there to do? But I found all of these really cool things for the low vision, legally blind, and blind. So I'm so excited to share these with you. But I think that even if you do have sight, these could be really cool. Okay, let's get into it. All right, the first thing I want to show you is this little book here. So for my sighted friends, you may take for granted the fact that you guys can see lines on paper. Those become very challenging and when I write letters or notes or whatever, I am never in the lines anymore because it is so challenging. So I saw this, it, this is for the low vision. This is a notebook that has like mega bold lines. So if I want to do anything lined, make lists or whatever, it's just like a full book of lines. So simple, something that a lot of people probably take for granted, but somebody with low vision, like holy moly, like you can totally see these lines, which is amazing. So this is the first thing and I believe I will link everything in the description box below so you guys can check it out yourself. The next thing is this guy right here. And I kept seeing it and I was like, is this one for me? And to answer your question, no, it is not for me. However, it is so really cool and I wanted to show you. So let me explain. I have Stargardt disease. I am low vision, legally blind, not fully blind. I still see some things I just don't see in great detail. Can't read certain things, cannot read any of these words in here but I thought it said Braille for the sighted. Braille is something that I'm going to and want to start learning. Um, so I thought I have some sight and I wanna learn Braille, so let's check this out. Um, I thought that maybe there would be some, like, I don't know if you can see like the little Braille uh, letters here. I thought maybe there would be some like raised Braille so that I could take a picture of it with my phone and then zoom in and then be able to like kind of you know, like, oh, feel it, and then kind of learn that way. But this is fully just like looking at it, and maybe I haven't given it, given it enough of a shot, but to me, this is something that I think would be very valuable. <laughs> to me, this is something I think would be very valuable for like my husband. Um, so it's kind of set up, kind of looks like it was designed for kids almost, or maybe just to be like super fun but little things that you can do in here for learning Braille. And to me, I believe it to be more like just sight recognition of like the placement of the dots and things like that. And then being able to visually see Braille. And so for a visually able person that, that that's really cool, especially if you know somebody that's blind or maybe you've just like wanted to learn another thing. Amazon, really cheap, really cool. Not for me, but cool for the sighted. Fully sighted, not semi-sighted. All right, the next thing, I always say all right. I wish I didn't do that. The next thing that I'm gonna show you are these two books. So um, also keep in mind, you don't have to know somebody with an eye disease for this. A lot of seniors do face these same things. So maybe this is something that like your grandma and grandpa would like or whatever. So just kind of keep that in mind. Low vision is not always from disease. Sometimes it's just from age. So um, I would say more times it's from age. But anyways, I wanna show you this. I have not been able to read a book in so long. I love books. In high school, I would read books, but it would be like this. It was so close and it was so challenging. And like um, the time when all of the Twilight books came out, and <laughs> I was obsessed and I read them all. I could still read at the time, but like those are huge books and my neck would hurt so bad at the end of it because I would just be like straining to kind of see it and get close. So I saw these online and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give this a shot and just see if this is something that I could see. So they're, they're very plain, but the words are large enough that if I wanted to sit down, which I plan to, and read it, I can. And they're like mystery novels. Let me show you the, the size right here. Hold on, I'm like trying to see. Okay. Like that's pretty great size right there. So this is something I would still kind of have to like be in good lighting, 
but like simple things that you don't realize that you are gonna miss, like just turning a page when you're reading a book is such a, like this is really, really cool. Um, and so another thing that you can do, like I do is audiobooks. So for people who are completely blind, audiobooks are wonderful. I do it like um, while I'm walking on the treadmill or whatever. And then also um, the digital books. So I do have a big iPad and then the, the font can get very large on that. And so um, I can read books on there as well. Um, so this is just really, to me was special because there's something cool about reading a book and actually turning the page and just the feeling of a book. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but I just love that experience. Like that's just part of reading a book that's so nice. So yes, this one is The Invisible Man and The Secret Garden. And I think that there were more online, but I just, these ones sounded interesting. Okay, this one I think is so cool. This is a deck of cards that is for low vision. So any like speed games, things like that. We do play a lot of cards in my family. And so a lot of times like family and friends just have to be like, oh, just say, say what it is out loud. Say the suit specifically. So um, I'm gonna try to grab one of each kind here. And notice like I'm able to like shuffle through these while they're down here and not like right up here. So that to me is a huge thing as well. But these are the cards. So this is, what is this club? Yeah. <laughs> I, I always forget, he, my husband gets mad at me because I say that this is Clover. He's like, it's club, figure it out. Um, so they have the numbers really big and then they have the, the suit of the card big as well. And then these lines here correspond with the suit which is like a quick identifiable way. So it's something you'll have to teach yourself. So for the black cards, it's a single line. And so for the clubs, it's going horizontal. And for the spades, it's going vertical. So you know black cards are one line and then just kind of learning that direction. It's just another visual aid to help people with low vision or to me, I think this would be kind of cool for colorblindness. I don't experience colorblindness, so I'm not 100% sure, like if black and red are super confused colors, you know? Um, so maybe somebody could let me know in the comment section. That would be, I would love to like learn that. Um, but yeah, so then here we have the Ace of Hearts and the Four of Diamonds. So we have the two lines and then they're going in the opposite direction. So it's really cool because you can throw down a card. I could literally see this, they're on my lap, which is something I can absolutely not do. And I've gotten jumbo playing cards, um, so those help, but this is the biggest, coolest one I've ever seen. And then they also said that the high contrast and the dark colors of the cards help reduce glare. So. I love this. This is awesome for quarantine too. Hopefully we're coming out of quarantine soon. Hopefully it's safe, so. <laughs> um, but card games are awesome. So definitely I think this is something that could be great for anyone. I think this is so, so cool. And I just think it looks really neat. Like these are really unique cards. So check these out. So the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is a bathroom scale which you're like whatever who cares if you use a scale this is very helpful for the blind or low vision um, so what I have to do when I use a scale is I have to stand on it and then kind of try to see like once it's settled or just guess the time that it's like okay I've been standing still it should have been the right amount of time between like getting my weight and not disappearing yet. And then I have to step off of it and then like bend down really quick or pick it up so that I can actually see the number. Um, so there's two solutions for this that I think are great. One, there is this scale, which talks, which is awesome. Um, maybe not awesome if you don't want other people to know your weight. Um, that's not something that bothers me and it's in the bathroom that my husband and I share, so I don't really care. Um, but, 
the other one is I had a scale previously that had an app that connected to my phone. So I would sync my phone and my scale, I would step on the scale and then my stats would go into my phone. So I will link that one as well, but I'll show you guys a demonstration on how this works. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how this works. Your weight is 65.2. The last thing I wanted to show you guys, I actually forgot at work, I use it every single day, so um, I'm bummed that I don't have it to show you. Um, so it is a keyboard cover. I have Apple products. I find that Apple is one of the most accessible companies ever. You can just take something out of a box and then immediately, like, I can set it up to have it work for me and Zoom, and it's just awesome. Speak text, all of that. So um, I would love to do, my next video will be on some like techie gadgets for the blind and low vision. Um, but this thing is this thin little cover that goes over top of the keys, and the Apple keys are white with little print on it. So this overlay makes the print bold and huge on the key. It's so awesome, I don't have to like, bend my bend down and like stress my neck trying to like look and see what key I'm trying to hit or like hit a bunch of keys and backspace a bunch until I hit the one I'm looking for. So that has been so amazing. One thing I still have yet to find, so if somebody else finds it, let me know, that would be so helpful. My keyboard at work is just the normal standard keyboard and that's what it fits. But my keyboard at home has the 10 key on the side connected and I ordered one and it didn't fit. So if anyone knows of one that works, I'm in search of one, but they are so amazing. I love it. It has been absolutely like game changer for me at work. And um, my boss slash good friend said, hey, order me one of those next time and I'll pay you for it. Cause that is so cool. It looks amazing. So um, I love that it's, it's stylish, it's cool. And it really helps, which is the most important part. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. That is it today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys have anything that you know of, please leave it in the comments. I would really love to know. Um, and let me know if you have any of these or if it's helped you. All right, thanks guys. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy and I will see you guys in the next video.